Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and you know it's your girl Dominique and today you're in the kitchen with Dominique Yo, this is a totally new video I've done like I don't remember, I think I have this one video where I made something on my channel regarding food but today is a totally different video for this video I am going to make <laughs> some some sweet and sour chicken so guys i made this before right um this is like my third time going to make it and i'm like you know i want to make this for you guys so i decided that you know what we're going to tune in and make this sweet and sour chicken together so let's get right into it so guys to make this we're going to need some chicken. So as you can see, I have my chicken right here prepped. It's not a lot of chicken. We don't need a lot of chicken because I just throw away. So this chicken, a mother chicken, has been soaking in vinegar for probably 20 minutes, the max, probably half an hour because it was cut up and left to prepare, you know, to soak in the vinegar. So guys, reason being, normally when I'm using vinegar, I just always just use the vinegar and rinse it off. But sweet and sour chicken kind of require a lot of vinegar. So guys, all the stuff that you're going to need for this meal or this preparation, whatever you guys call it, you're going to need some paprika. This is the all island spice paprika. You can get whatever paprika that you want. This is a good old Jamaican pink season, a pink season macaulay. I'm not sure what is the right name, but pink season. I know for sure this is a chicken season, the original orange chicken Jamaican season. I just throw them in this can right here. I need salt. Depending on you, if you don't like what you salt, then it's up to you. But I know you definitely need salt. You're going to need vinegar. You're going to use um you're going to need some baking powder. You don't have to use baking powder, but that's your choice. You're going to need some cooking oil, a little black pepper. You know, I pour my black pepper into this, and you're going to need some flour. And you're going to need some sugar. Inside of this is sugar. Yeah, I try to use my container. I try to recycle a lot. And you're going to need a bag. So normally I use Ziploc bag, but I don't have Ziploc bag at the moment. They're all using for in you. They are all being used for something else. So I'm just taking my clear bag right now. You don't have to use a bag. You can use a container with cover. Up to you, your choice. So. Let's get right into seasoning the chicken. So here we go now. First, for my chicken, I'm just gonna add some salt. You don't wanna add too much salt, right? So I'm just adding a little bit of nasty chicken. See here. Some pink season. Orange chicken season. Some black pepper. And you're just going to, let me get a fork. You're just going to mix up all that season for it on the chicken and mix it up all together. rest for a minute or two next now guys you're going to go in and get your pot ready on the stove you can see my pot is on the stove and it's eating right now right when you know your pot is hot you're going to go ahead and add some oil 
So guys, after you're at the oil, now is where you're going to need the plastic bag, right? Or the zip up bag, whatever bag that you're using. So, let me just push this aside. You're gonna go for your bag, right? And the flour that you have, you're gonna pour this flour in the bag. Flour it in the bag, then you're gonna go and get had a little bit of baking powder in that same bag. No, while you're using the, the baking powder, it's because we're going to fry the meat. So we have to fry the meat first. That is why you need the baking powder. And the baking powder is going to help the chicken to give it a little, nice little puffy look. Because they want a nice little puffy look, right? So, let's a little tooth of baking powder. Not too much. Because it's not a lot of meat, so it depends. You use a more baking powder based on guys. When you don't give up the thing in the bag, I'm not Jamaica. I don't know the thing set in the bag, yeah. Not the bag will buy things. So, in this same bag, right? In this same bag, you're going to go ahead and add a little black pepper. not too much black pepper and you're going to shake it up you're going to shake it up so now after shaking that up in the bag right you're going to go ahead and add it you're going to go ahead and now add your chicken to the bag Now this is what we want to do guys, we want to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Literally what we're going to do first is fry the chicken. But not to fry it out 100% right? After you think all of your chicken is coated, we're going to go in and throw them in the pot now, we're going to add them to the frying pot. So as you can see, my chicken is being fried in the pot right now. And we're going to just go ahead and cover it and leave it for about 5 minutes then you come and check on, check on it again. Whoa, guys look at that film. Oh my god. Alright, so as you can see I turned the chicken already and I'm waiting for the other side to be coated and then we're gonna take them out. I remember we don't want them to fry too much you know. So guys meanwhile the chicken is getting its spinach coat in the pot we're going to go ahead and make put on our rice because we're going to make this with some white rice today okay so I'm gonna this is my rice cooker pot so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice to add in it. So here I got my rice as you can see I recycle a lot I'm just gonna add the amount that I want to cook today and then I'm gonna wash it in the same pot and then put it on. Rice is in the pot, so now I'm gonna wash it. Guys, look how my eyelash will drop off, now that my rice is here. We don't pay that no man. We're going to wash the rice and come right back. So guys, you can see my rice is wet. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add the water that I need to lay. Add whatever I'm adding to it and put it on. Remember the focus isn't the rice today. So now focus on how to cook white rice today. Now, so guys, the chicken was burning a bit, right? So I had to go ahead and take it out of the pot. I could have featured it to show you guys. So it doesn't matter if it's really coated like fried or whatever it doesn't matter once it's not burnt to the extent it doesn't matter so now we're going to go ahead and make the sauce for the sweet and sour so we're just going to rest this aside right over there so now to make the sauce guys the eyelash will drop off a bother me oh my god it's sticking me anyways we now for no man the eyelash bother me 
We're not gonna go full ghost buddy. All right, so guys, what you need for your sweet and sour sauce now. I have in here, I prepped, I prepped my onion, my carrot, and my pepper. Normally, I would usually use pineapple, but I don't have any pineapple today. So I'm just gonna proceed without any pineapple. You guys, this is where you add your pineapple. So you just cut up the pineapple and add it when you're cutting up all of those stuff that you need, okay? After getting those stuff ready, like your carrot and whatever, the same pot that you season the meat, you're going to go ahead, you're going to have a little more orange seeds. I already had some tooth already. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little um bit more pink season. Not too much, right? You wanna go ahead and add your paprika. Right? You don't wanna add too much paprika at this point right here because you're going to go ahead and add some more to the pot. Now, let's move over to the pot. It's the same pot we are using. I just had a little bit more oil because you don't need to throw the oil. And when the pot is hot, you're going to go ahead and add in these. After adding them to the pot, now what you want to do is cover it and let them cook or fry or whatever you want. Now guys, this right here, we're going to add some water to it. So we're going to add some water and stir it. Stir it. Guys, you're going to go ahead and add the, um, the season mixture to the pot. Season mixture to the pot, you're gonna add some vinegar to that same pot. Okay, it's not the extent amount of vinegar that you must have a certain amount of vinegar that you must add or whatever. You just add the amount that I think it's necessary to add. I think it's better for me to be on this side. Yeah, so just add the amount and then you're going to just taste and go through it. After adding that, you're going to add the sugar that I have in this soda in Jamaica. We just cut and go through. We measure. No, do not know that. We don't measure. We don't measure. We just chew until we answer the first part. Oh, guys, how could I forgot to tell you guys that you, I normally use a little bit of lime juice. So I'm going to get my little bit of lime juice and I'm right back. So I'm using the color lime juice. You guys can use real lime or you guys can use lemon. You guys can use orange also. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of lime juice. Let's say I'm just using a cork. I'm gonna use a cork for now, a cork full amount, until when I taste it and then I decide how, if I want some more. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my paprika. So now guys, the paprika a piggy color. Paprika, people normally use paprika to give stuff color. And then we're going to stir it. to do the test of how the sauce is tasting right now so for me I think it could take a little bit more sugar so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more sugar to the pot now this is how um, the sauce is looking so yep it's the same flour that you use in the bag you don't want to throw it out right because you're going to get back it's up to you if you want to throw it out because you're going to need a little more flour in the end you can use flour or you can use starch um cornstarch i normally don't waste this bag of money past cornstarch because it's the same thing cornstarch do the same thing flour can do too so i'm going to go ahead and add a bit of water to this flour and mix it up and then why I think this would be the best to use because it already have the season in it and all of that so sorry it doesn't make any sense you go and use some different flour or anything like that now what this is for this is for to make the the 
the mixture wow this is to make the mixture thicker so you want to add some you know you want it to look a tick look a bit look a thickness yeah so this is how the sauce is looking right now after i had the flour and everything i've left it for a while to cook boil and steam down whatever you guys call it now we're going to go ahead and add the chicken to the sauce Chicken to the sauce, we're just going to stir it up in it. After stirring in it, guys, we're going to cover it back for about another 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, your sweet and sour chicken should be ready, guys. We're we'll finished, we're finished, we're finished, we're finished, we're finished. My sweet and sour chicken. My sweet and sour chicken. I'm gonna look a touch of white rice. Guys, this is the end of the video. Only give me a thumbs up for my effort. I went out all the way just to do this video for you. Guys, until next time, it's your girl Dominique. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down if you want me to do a video like this again. I love you guys. Until the next video, bye. Hey guys, if you're here watching this video, then you're here to hear about this special surprise that I have for you guys. Guys, we're on the way to 1K subscriber and I am going to have a giveaway when i reach 1k subscriber guys guys i am so excited to reach 1k subscriber this is not because 1k subscriber make you be monetized but i've been on youtube for so long and the journey i don't know it has been a rough one where sometimes i feel demotivated and sometimes i feel motivated to continue what i am doing guys if my hand look ashy at the floor because i'm in the kitchen guys if you don't know all this kitchen struggle go then you guys not cooking none at all so guys i'm here to tell you about this 1k giveaway that i'm having so whenever i reach 1k giveaway i will be giving away a small selfie ring light guys i will be giving away a small selfie ring light right if you're in jamaica on that giveaway you will also earn 500 dollars digicel or lime credit if you're overseas you will only receive the ring light because i can't afford them the credit there and normal overseas people don't buy credit so guys let's get this channel to 1k subscriber i'm so happy to be a part of youtube like i feel so motivated sometimes to make videos like to watch about my video there but to me know all this thing go already it's all a journey it's all a process if i even school it there it process rough sometimes so guys go ahead and hit this video up with a tongue a like go ahead and leave a comment down because guess what i am doing sh notification shout outs now on my channel so if you want to get a shout out on my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button comment down below guys go ahead and follow my instagram at it's dominique underscore where i will post all the details that you guys need to know about this giveaway i love you guys don't forget to subscribe if you don't subscribe until next time it's your girl dominique on the channel life as dominique awesomeness i love you guys bye